Hi guys, this is Engineer HB and welcome back to the RIBE. So we're going to answer an age problem under this uh, algebra and the question is... Ayan, medyo maikse, no? <laughs> no, the, uh, the question is the sum of the ages of a married couple and their four children is 40 years over the century mark. 10 years ago, the sum of the ages of the couple the eldest child and the second child is five decades and five years less than the sum of all, or the six of them, their ages now. The father's age is 10 times the age of the youngest, while the mother's age is eight times that of the youngest. The difference between the age of the second child and the sum of the ages of the third and the last child is zero, while the difference between the ages of the first child and the sum of the ages of the second and the last child is also zero. Find their ages now. Okay, so this is a long uh, problem with long solution, but I think it is simple, medyo matrabaho lang. So, and let us answer this one. So dito, mas lumiit yung question kasi to give space to the solution. So, simulan natin. So, kuha lang tayo ng ink. Okay. So, mag-let-let -let, uh, letters muna tayo. Magre-represent muna tayo ng mga letters. Okay. Teka, bakit ay gumana ng aking pen tablet? Okay, teka, teka. Hindi ata nakasaksak. So, ayan, nakasaksak na guys. Sensya na medyo tumagal dahil doon. And, ayan. So, solution. So, solu solution tayo. Of course, uh, ang number of people that involved in this problem will be six. Kasi married couple, so that's two. And for children, of course, that's four. So that's two plus four is equal to six. So there are six people involved on this problem. So I will assign letter A to letter F for this one. So let A and B. So let A siguro ay father, father's age. Siguro si B ay si mother's age, of course. Pwede natin sabihin si C is the eldest. So, pwede si D, ang second child. Si E, third child. And of course, si F, ang fourth child. Okay? So, Sabi sa una, the sum of the ages of the married couple, so pwedeng sabihin sa A plus B, so that was the married couple, and their four children, so that was the C, the D, the letter E, and the letter F, is 40 years over the century mark. So century mark meaning 100 years, so 40 years plus 100 years, so that will be 140 years. So meaning, ang, ang sum ng kanilang mga edad, ang mag-asawa at kanilang mga anak ay 140. And we can tell that uh, equation 1. Okay, so tapos na tayo dito. At dito, sa so susunod naman sa 10 years ago. 10 years ago, the sum of the ages of the couple, the eldest child, and the second child is 5 decades and 5 years, less than the sum of all their ages now. Ang sabi, the sum of the ages of the couple, which is A plus B, the eldest child, the second child, which is C and D, is five decades and five years less than the sum of all their ages now. So ang involved dito sa susunod is apat lang, which is the couple and the eldest and the second uh, child. Ang sabi, uh, the sum of, uh, 10 years ago daw, the sum of the ages of the couple, which is A plus B, 
and C and D for the eldest and the second child respectively is five decades and five years less than the sum of all their ages now. Ang sum of all of their ages now is 140. So pwede natin sabihin 140 minus five decades and five years. So one decade is 10 years. So that was five decades is equal to 50 years plus five years. So that was 55 years. And of course, meron pa tayong minus dito na 10 times 4y because ang sabi, 10 years ago and the number of person involves, involved is apat. The couple and the eldest and the second child. So that was 10, 10, 10, 10. So that was 40. Okay? So ibig sabihin, the sum of A plus B plus C. Ito na lang natin. Tingin ko mahaba yung mga formula mamaya. Ay, yung mga equation. So that was A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 140 minus 55. So that was uh, 85 plus 40. So that was 125. Teka. Buray mo natin. Ayaw na mabura ng dulo na kasi. Teka. Ah. Ayan. So medyo ano na tayo. Na. Para tayong lasing. <laughs> so that was the sum of the four. Couple, the eldest, and the second. Is 125. So tapos na tayo hanggang dito. So, susunod naman is the father's age. So, the father's age, si father's age is letter A, is equal to 10 times the age of the youngest. And our youngest is the letter F. So, that was 10F. We can tell that this is the equation 3. Equation 2 nga pala to, guys. Uh, tapos, Tapos na tayo dito. While the mother's age is 10, 8 times that of the youngest. So pwede natin sabihin mother's age is 8 times of the youngest, which is B is equal to 8F. Okay, so tapos na tayo dito. So next naman is the difference between the age of the second child and that the sum of the ages of the third and the last child is zero. So pwede natin sabihin the difference between the age of the second child. So our second child is represented by letter D. Kasi ang pinakamatanda is C. Si Kopol ay A plus A and B. So the difference between the age of the second child and the sum of the ages of the third, which is E, and the last child is zero. So ang sum daw ni third and last child, tas ang difference with the third or rather, second child is zero. So this is your equation five. So saan tayo tumapos dito? So so the one is while the difference between the ages of the first child, so our first child represented by letter C, and the sum of the ages of the second and the last child, so our second child is letter D, and the last child, again, letter F is equal to zero. Okay, tapos na ang lahat ang mag-represent ng mga statements. So, find their ages now. So, we're going to look for the ages of each of the person involved, which is six persons. And sakto, meron tayong six equations. And I think makukuha natin ito ng simple lang. So, saan tayo uh, pwedeng magsimula? Okay, so as you can see, sa so one and two, Pwede tayong magsimula kasi ito, may in, sa equation to mo, may involve ka ng apat, tas anim sa one. So, ibig sabihin, apat ang may eliminate na unknown dito sa one at dalawang matitira. So, we all know that one, okay, we all know that equation to is A plus B plus D plus C is equal to 125. Meaning, we can replace these four uh, letters by 125. So meaning 125 plus E plus F is equal to 140. Meaning E plus F is equal to 15. 
So E plus E, E plus F is equal to 15. And notice, guys, that E plus F ay meron dito sa equation 5. Therefore, D minus 15 is equal to 0. Therefore, D is equal to 15. So meron na tayong nakuha isang edad ng anak. That was the second child, which is D is equal to 15. Okay, so saan tayo pwedeng uh, kumuha pa ng edad? So sa equation 6, mayroon na tayong D. So pwede nating sabihin C minus 15 plus F is equal to 0. Uh, 16 minus 15 plus F is equal to 0. So transpose, pwede nating sabihin na C is equal to 15 plus F. So meron na tayong equation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So pwede nating sabihin... Uh, Ating sabihin, ito 7 to kanina. Ito, equation 8. So, meron na tayong value ng C. Meron na rin tayong value ng D. Yung C, kulang pa pa ng value, kulang pa ng edad ng youngest. So, sana natin pwedeng ipasok itong mga to. And, saan kaya natin pwedeng ipasok itong mga to? So may nakakalimutan tayo which is the equation 3, equation 4. May nire-represent ang A na F. May nire-represent din ang B na F. And may nire-represent din ang C na F at ang D natin ang may value na. At meron din tayong E plus F is equal to 15 at meron tayong 140 here. So everyone will be solved I think on this situation right now. So ang A natin, kunin natin sa equation 1 again. The sum of the six persons involved is 140. So that was A is 10F. Ayan. Ang ating B is 8F for the equation 4. So ang C is 15 plus F. At ang D natin ay may edad na 15. Tapos ang E natin. So ang E plus F natin is matic. 15 then tama from the equation 7 so ang total daw niya ay 140 so isa-isahin lang natin ang similar terms which is 10f 8f tas isa pang f so that was 19f is equal to 140 minus isang 15 isang 15 isang 15 so 140 minus 45 so that was 95, therefore F is equal to 5. So meron ng edad si D, meron ding edad si F, and of course, saan natin pwedeng kunin ng iba? So sa equation 7 ang sabi, E plus F is equal to 15. So therefore, E is equal to 15 minus 5, so our E is equal to 10. So, tatlo na yung nakakompleto natin. E, tsaka F. At meron tayong C dito na 15 plus F. So, that was 15 plus 5. So, that will become 20. Okay? So, apat na yung nakuha natin. Which is, yung edad na lang ng couple ang mahirap. Ay, ang kulang. So, way back on the equation 3 here above, A is equal to 10F. Therefore, A is equal to 10 times 5, 50. And B is equal to 8 multiplied by F, which is 8 by 5. And that will be 4. Okay? At least nakuha natin lahat ng anim. And the only thing left that uh, we should do is to add those 6 and to get the 140. So 50 plus 40, 90 plus C, 20. So that was 110 plus D, 15. So that was 125 plus E, 10, 135, plus F, 140. So, big sabihin, tama ang ating sagot. The answer is 50, 40, 20, 15, 10, and 5. So, the question is, uh, mahaba lang, tricky lang, pero kung iisa-isahin, this is 
simple. So, ayun guys, salamat sa pakikinig and please subscribe to my channel. Marami pa tayong videos na i-upload for math, pipe, machine design at for uh, pati na rin sa ibang videos about derivation of equations. Thank you again for listening and bye-bye.